G'day guys, how you going? Hope you're all fit and well. We've got something special coming up in this episode of Roads Less Travelled, Miles of Smiles, Part 17. Now this episode's a special episode for Kim and I because what happens later in the video was absolutely fantastic. We had one of the best nights ever with some people that we met on the road. So... To celebrate that, we're going to have a little competition or, as you say, a giveaway. But there is a couple of things you've got to do. I'll show you the prizes first. Here we go here. Okay, so these are the prizes here. We have two stubby holders, two mugs, Kimmy Russ Adventures, of course, and a pink and a blue peak hat. So... How do you get them? You may ask. Well, in the video, later on in the video, there are two blokes who we meet, Noel and Adam. Now, these blokes are great blokes. Now, I'll have the names of the blokes in the video. So, all you gotta do is tell me, is it Noel or is it Adam? Which one is the tech nerd? The other one actually owns a trucking business. So one owns a trucking business, one's a tech nerd. Which one is the tech nerd? And also, that's not else to qualify for it, for the prize. Kim gives a present to a little kid. What is the name of that present that she gives to the little kid? What does young Harvey name that present? So, two things. The name of the tech nerd and the name of the present that Kim gives Harvey. So we will do a random draw of this and we'll have the cutoff point of the 20th of March. So enter. All we ask you to do is share, like, and subscribe, okay? On Facebook and on YouTube. But the comments for the competition have got to be on YouTube. So if you want to go in the competition, comment on there, tell us your answer, but please, Feel free to share this video on Facebook and YouTube. So anyway, we'll keep you informed. 20th of March is the cutoff point for the competition. And we'll do a random draw after that for the people that guessed the right answer. Okay then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit long, but it is a funny video. Okay, we'll catch you down the road, guys. Bye. He's flying there. I've been nestled there before and it's a hell of a go. <laughs> yeah, you told me that 21 years ago when we got together, didn't you? Now anything fit. fits. <laughs> past the bottle shop now, walk straight past it and that's it, okay? Okay, so change your mind. We couldn't walk past the bottle shop, could we, mate? <laughs> Welcome, guys. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the snow. I love Matt White. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I can't get up. <laughs> Well, now I'm in the kids' playground. We can go and get me a stuffy, so I can just rest it on me barrel. They are, they are the best people we, we met. The wives locked us out of our house. Well, they, they gave us a drink. And... Is there any reason why you've been locked out? <laughs> uh, Not to my knowledge. Because but mind you, you that doesn't mean a lot. You know what? Whoever I'm talking to right now, these guys are absolute legends to travel with. If you ever run into them. Definitely, definitely have a beer with them. Anyway, stay tuned, guys, for more adventures. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life away. Okay, here we are. We've pulled up at Wyala, haven't we? I know, I know. We passed through here the other day and had lunch, didn't we? Yeah. But we never stayed. The reason being we're here tonight is because uh, the weather's a bit dodgy for the next couple of days, so we wanted Wyala from Streaky Bay, we left Streaky Bay this morning, to be a jump off spot. So then, then tomorrow, if it does come in and rain too much on us, we haven't got as far to travel. 
over to. <laughs> I'm not telling you yet. You'll have to keep watching to find out, won't they, babe? They will. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is our complex for the night. Yeah, you can't see the but, bikes. Yeah, our bikes are over behind that Tempo electrical van. 25 degrees at the moment in the bay. Yeah. You need to do any washing, sweetie? No. Uh -huh. no. You've done you've done your yearly washing, haven't you? <laughs> you don't I smell don't... fishy no more. I don't wash. No, that's very <laughs> true, guys. <laughs> If I put that video in there of us doing our washing, you would have seen Rusty was doing everything, I reckon. What do you reckon? And I don't cook. 21 years, I told you that. That's our complex over the road. Now, we've got a bottle shop right there, so are we laughing or what? We're laughing. Yeah, we're And then laughing. there's food just beyond that. Yeah, but I did tell you, look how beautiful the day is. And Windy Wyala isn't that windy. And all those apartments over there are the other side of the road, which is owned by this complex as well. So this is our digs for the night. Look, that's nice and blue, isn't it? Right here is a reception in the babe, and right there we've got a bottle, bottle and bird. Now we've never seen a bottle and bird before, Don't you? have we, babe? No. Not bad, eh? Huh? We're going up here. Look at the big okay. Jim Beam. A big bottle of Jim Beam. So we just worked out what that bottle and bird was, didn't we, babe? We did. It's a chicken place. Yeah. We we can go. Straight there for our grog, straight there for a chicken. Yep. And what we got? We got a meal made, haven't we, babe? We've we got everything. Two feet to walk. Yes. You get yes. bottle shop on one side and chicken on the other side. Has oh. anybody had bottle and bird before? Well, I know I book Kim to bed with a bottle every night yeah, just to shut her up. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out too. <laughs> yeah, she's okay. figured it out and yeah, yeah, she's trying to bloody arc up against yes. that. I just shove the bottle at her and she drinks it though, so don't <laughs> so worry about it. Like a baby with a bottle. Yeah, yeah. Once you give her that bottle, and if she's sitting up in bed, oh, you can bet your life on it, she struggles to drink that bottle. I do. <laughs> and then she falls asleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably my sixth one. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. They're more like the 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're in bed and can't move. Well, it's not often Kimmy Russ come shopping, is it, babe, no. while we're on holidays, but we're in this mall arcade thing or whatever, and um, there's not many people in here, is it, for a no. Tuesday? Which way do you want to go first? This way? Yeah. Okay. So I'm we're just going to have, gonna have a look around now. She's going like feral now. Wyala done and dusted. Leaving here, we didn't know just how good the next night was going to be. What a fantastic adventure. Which way are we going? Well, we're going to the left down there. We're just backing out at the moment, aren't we? From our place of abode at Wayala, aren't we, Bud? I'm undercover, so I don't get wet. Well, I just hope she doesn't hit one of them poles on the way through, guys. <laughs> She's going undercover. As you can see, we had a bit of rain here last night, guys. As you can see, it's not too bad of a morning. We had some rain overnight, which we were expecting. Bit of a puddle there on the road, but we're hoping to get through to our next destination without getting wet, which we think we might do. We're hoping. Yeah. Fingers crossed. It's a pretty big place, Wayala. It's just spread out a bit. Yeah, it's spread out everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, so windy Wayala, they call it, but we haven't struck a real lot of wind here, have we? No, it's not too bad. No. Yesterday when we came in, it wasn't too bad. Actually died off a little bit as we got into town, didn't it? From yeah. where we come from, and um, this morning's quite calm at the moment. Oh, you go, buddy. The lady. Typical woman speeders. Sorry, yeah. guys. Sorry, all you guys, but whenever we're on the road and we're riding around, nine times out of ten, if you look at a car that's speeding, it's a woman. And that's fair dinkum, isn't it, babe? It certainly is. Yeah, even you've said that comment on yep. that, haven't you? Yep. And they're on their phones too. Yeah, and on their phones normally. Bloody ridiculous. But anyway. Oh, Rusty's always a get off your fucking phone. I'll pull up next time and hold me head up. Oh, I say, get off your fucking phone. Sometimes <laughs> I put my visor up, don't I, bud? And I go, I go, I go like this. Wind your fucking window down. And as soon as they do, I tell them. Yep. And then they put it down as if they haven't had it in their hand. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? It is. All right, so over there where you see them signs on the fence, guys, there. See behind these workers, all these signs? <laughs> it's a military range. Live firing. Kim's worried about getting a stray bullet in the head now. <laughs> she's just got to worry about that while she's asleep of a night, let me tell you. <laughs> she don't have to worry about it at the moment. But if she keeps snoring the way she does... 
<laughs> I actually do. <laughs> That's a friggin' long military base. First for kilometres. How you going there, Mrs. Whitehouse? Good. Your trousers look like a dickhead. How are we going? There's no need to fucking be like that to me. I was just asking you how you were. <laughs> you told me I look like a dickhead. <laughs> Your trousers do. <laughs> I like waving to them. You're fluent though, you are. Some of them are stuck up, so I just wave on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> See the attitude she's got, guys? Oh crap, I didn't know I was filming. <laughs> <You were> filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I've got to put up with all the time on the road. Look at them beautiful mountains over there in the distance behind them windmill skies. Pretty, isn't it, the way the sun's shining on it at the moment? So we're just leaving Port Apiri for the second time, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Because we've come back through here to go down to Port Bruton for the night. Have we not? We have. So we've only got uh, 50 odd k's to go, 54 k's. There's a lot of farmland on the way down through here, isn't there? Yeah. Very nice. They're growing dry stuff. Yeah, we're on the other side here now and it's um, uh, all that small shitty shrubbery dry shit's gone, isn't it? And we're over yeah. the pastures now. It changes for each region, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I suppose it depends on rainfall and that. Hey, okay, go then, guys. Just here, babe? Yes? Yep. We're turning up at Port Bruton. Port Broughton is located 178 kilometres northwest of Adelaide. It is an attractive and accessible holiday and retirement destination on the York Peninsula. Its location at the top end of the peninsula ensures that it is a little drier and more arid than the more southerly ports. The waters in the area are shallow, which results in an extensive areas of seagrass, mangroves and tidal flats. This results in excellent fishing and grabbing. Historically, it was an important port for the export of wheat and barley in the 19th century. Broughton? Broughton? What is it, babe? Broughton. What? Broughton. So, this is into the town centre here. So, we'll have a look, see what this town's about. So there's the Sunnyside Hotel Motel. We did look at that. That must be it there at the back of it, yep. Did you tell them it was the York Peninsula? It is the York Peninsula we're on. We'll go into more of that later though, hey babe? Yeah, won't we research it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're coming up to some water, my sweetness. Yep. I reckon it's a nice little place. That's what they tell us. Oh, oh look at the right. pier there. Yeah, keep going out there, babe. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Streaky Bay all over again. It does, doesn't it? Mmm, nice for sure. First impressions? Nice. Yeah. Got a big wharf, haven't they? It seems to be this expedition is old wharves and yes, jetties. Yes. <laughs> we think we're down by the beach. Well, we know we are. It's just that we haven't got a unit right on beachfront. Some of us too much and tight to pay for one of them, weren't they? Oh, I left that up to you, mate. No, nah, mate. No, nah, mate. I went okay. and seen the boss. I said to the girl off, oh, right, all this going through the boss. Then I come back from the boss. Back to the girl on the phone, I said, I'll have to wait to talk up. Yeah, <laughs> I said, she, she's out there, she's having a cardiac arrest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are, oh, we're at Port Broughton. Yes, that's wind in the pipe. Yes, very windy. It is very windy, it's supposed to peak up to about 45 kilometres an hour here. See my hair? Can't see Russ's. Yeah, the hair's going everywhere. Russ is. Now you can see my hat coming up though, so it's very windy. We're going to go for a walk downtown. Um, we're staying here tonight and maybe tomorrow night yet because it could come in a bit rugged tomorrow, couldn't it? That's our bike through there. Oh, no, these are, oh, that's what Kim's traded her bike in on actually. Oh, we could get a dual one? No fucking way. I'll be. No, wait a minute. 
No way, man. I'll be doing the work. <laughs> Bit of pedal power. <laughs> no, not happening. Oh, Rusty, he ain't that fucking stupid. He's stupid, but he ain't that stupid. I'll pretend. Uh, okay. So this is our caravan park. That's our box just down there. It's very windy, isn't it? And Ooh. the main street, straight down there. Take you down there. It's about 500 metres away. Is it? Oh, then, guys, look at that. Yes, she's very, very blustery here. This is coming up to the main street, isn't it, sweetie? It is. I'm not sure how much of this you can really hear. <laughs> Oops. See that? The wind almost blew the GoPro out of my hand. That's how windy it is. Look in here. You said she'd do something about that mess, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's blown me away. I thought I was pretty well anchored. But... Just well, you put a bit of weight on this <laughs> on a nose, are you? Yeah. Anchored well. <laughs> I do want to go out on that jetty, but I don't know if I oh, want to go no. out there while it's just bloody windy. <laughs> oh, blow us clean off. She is fair blowing through here. You know, it is what it is. We're still on holidays, aren't we, babe? Yep. Okay, so we're down at the wharf. Hello from Port Bro Broughton. Broughton. What did he say? Broughton. Broughton? I'm just oh, going to say Broughton. That's a good photo opportunity there, but with this wind, I don't think so. <laughs> We've got some murals over on the wall over there. On the shitter, on the town shitter, mate. Ooh, on the town. <laughs> That's a fancy shitter. Yep. That there's the mural on the shitter. That's a fancy shitter. And this here is the main street, and that's where we're headed. Come here, mate. What is it? Look. Can you see it? Over here. No, what? you can't see. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm so about swearing people on nah, his Nah, she's fucking. She I falls did, for it every time, doesn't she? I did not realise that was there. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. She fucking falls for stuff all the time. She's yes. silly sometimes. I, I love her and all, but you know. <laughs> come on. That was funny. I do love her. Now I have to get you back. Got me sunny's wet. Don't, did I? Sorry, <laughs> sweetie. In my jacket and... Pub there. Got oh, there, nice old pub there. It's like Streaky Bay, isn't it? It is a little bit. There, my guys is the most important place in town in the bay. Sure is. What is it, babe? That's a thirsty camel bottle shop. That's the bottle, I wouldn't it, babe? So that's the most important place. There's a bakery up around here. We'll go for a walk up around here. Right. So this is Port Broughton, guys. Albeit it's a very windy day, isn't it, sweetie? It is. Yes. We can't, we can't do much about the wind, though, can we? Nope, we no. can't turn it on or off. <laughs> Doesn't happen. It's a bit like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> have not found the volume switch for that one. No, yet there is no mute for her. Look at her. She's one of those Yeah. Here's a photo cool. op, babe. Look, photo op. Yeah, you sit down and I'll do a oh, photo of you. I don't like her. Oh. No, she's too old fashioned for me. She looks like you. Ah. She looks like me. Yeah, she looks like you, babe. How you going? She's yeah. prettier than me. She's dressed up for the car. Okay. Show everyone what you just brought, babe. He's on my shoulder. Oh, he's on your shoulder. There you go. Five dollars, Paddington Bear, in this sweetie. Yep. Does it look like Kim? Of course it does, doesn't it, eh? Five dollars for Paddington. Okay, we're going to keep going with the tour of the town. Look at Paddington, he's fine there. Poor old Paddington. I've been nestled there before and it's a hell of a go. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> getting it's, it's a, I tell you, it's a shock to the system sometimes, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Nestled between the melons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cop shop up here, so I'll just drop Kim off so she can check in. Yeah. Because she's got to check in every day, you know. Uh, check in. Don't you, babe? They lock me up for Jeez, a few. Does that make you look fat? Yeah, I am fat, babe. Oh, okay. Where are you, babe? Where are you, babe? Oh, Come here, babe. Get, tell, tell them what we got for tea. We've just been shopping at IJ. Don't often go shopping on holidays, do we? Right. But tonight in Port Burton, Broughton. Broughton. Who knows what it is? We're cooking, aren't we, babe? Look at this. Look, look. Have a look, babe. Chop. One pizza. We don't even know. We, we're not eating Paddington. <laughs> well, we get garlic desperate. Bread, garlic bread. And what else we got? Yeah, no, we got the drink. Yeah, that's all we're having. We're not having grog tonight, guys. And lollies, aren't we, babe? We haven't hit the bottle shop, so he's lying. Rusty never lies. Rusty sure never lies. Pizza won't fit in. Bends the truth. Okay. Bends the yeah. truth. So we're going to go past the bottle shop now, walk straight past it, and that's it, okay? She told you it wouldn't fit in there, babe. I reckon it will. Okay. 
Does it fit, babe? I'm carrying it. It fits. Does it fit? Oh, it fits. And you were told it didn't fit, didn't yeah, you, babe? Yeah. yeah. You told me that 21 years ago when we got together, didn't you? Yeah, anything fit. fits. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Paddington, it fit. <laughs> we're not even going there, guys. I'll get in trouble. Hey, hey, so. Change your mind. We couldn't walk past the bottle shop, could we, mate? <laughs> no. I lied to you, yes. I know I said Kim, Kimmy Russ Ventures don't lie, but mm. I lied. We got a carton, didn't we, babe? Look, see? Yeah, the um the electrolytes just for the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Oh yeah. well, sorry guys. Carton's getting a bit heavy, it's Kim's turn. Uh, no, I'm not crying. I told him that. Alright, we've only well, sorry guys. I only gotta walk down to there, so it should be right. Yeah. Welcome guys. <laughs> Welcome to the snow. Welcome to the snow. Yes, no, we're still in South Australia, aren't we, Bo? Yeah. I'll well, we think. That just in case you can't hear me, Mark. Wait a minute, guys. There you go. It, it feels like we're still in Tassie. Yeah, no, it's like it's screaming through here, gusting up to 54 kilometres an hour at the moment. Isn't mm -hmm. it? So, um, and it feels like well, it's 16.5 degrees. I just checked a while ago, but um, it feels like 7.5 or 8.5. <laughs> We're back in Tassie. Yeah, Kimmy, she's got she got two coats on. I got me hoodie, this. Yep. Fucking soft, man. Fucking soft. So anyway, we're in Port Burton for the night, aren't we, mate? Yep, we may. We're it. A, even though we're freezing up, we're freezing the tits off a brass monkey. Freezing the balls <laughs> off a brass monkey. <laughs> yeah, brass monkey's got tits. He's a bloody female <laughs> one, isn't he? <laughs> but who knows? Who it's knows? freezing the balls off a brass monkey. That's what yep, we're doing. That's it. Mm. And Port Broughton? Port Broughton? We don't know. Just we Google don't know. it. Someone tell us, please. And we're in the caravan park for the night. So, there's the babies here. We have a special babies <laughs> here and look at her. She's like a fucking Eskimo, isn't she? It's so cold. We're in cabin number three. Now, not a bad cabin. Is it as far as cabins go, babe? It's a it little issue. Doors, it was doors for the night. Look we at have this. One issue. What's the issue? Yeah, they'll see when you go around the side. <laughs> yeah, tell me. The gas bottle. Oh, yes, yes. I'll show them that in a minute. We've got a full size fridge, so that, that's good. And um, there we go. Stubby's in the freezer, keeping them cold. Shower, toilet, you know, you, you know the routine, the shitter. That's a shower there, guys. We've already had a shower. We smell pretty, don't we? And this is our living area, our bedroom, the old love nest. All our gear. Oh, funny thing about them shoes. Oh, Rusty, here. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Now, this is the truth in the boat. Oh, Rusty down Port Lincoln. He thought he'd play a little joke on Kimmy. And put a put a key, heap of bottle tops in her shoes, in her bike boots. I was watching you do it. No, 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 you weren't. Our poor Lincoln, you weren't. Our poor Lincoln. So anyway, I put eight bottle tops, two of his bottle tops in her boots. And she gets up next morn, puts her foot in, pulls it out real quick. What the fuck? And found the bottle tops in there. Right, that's fine. The trick didn't really work that well. Well, last night, old Rusty decided he'd do it again. <laughs> You know what the fucking thing was last night, though? <laughs> I put the bottle tops in, right? She's sitting up watching me put the bottle tops in her boots. And she'll go, she goes to me, What? You think I'm fucking stupid, do yeah, you? This is what You think I'm fucking stupid? I, I can see what you're doing. I said, and I said to her, Time morning comes around, you go put them boots on, you would have forgot. He was right. Well, she gets us more this morning, puts her boots in the fucking shoes, and oh, fuck, I'm fucking over. He's right again. Put my feet in my boots. Yeah, yeah, put her feet in the boots. Rusty, we are. Right. She forgot, scared the fuck out of herself again. Yes, that is, that is true, yes. <laughs> put my foot in the okay. boots. Look here. Look, yeah, no, she's gone spending money going, look, Paddington Bear. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know why Russ she it. Russ liked it. Russ liked it, so I bought it. It's not. You don't let it. I'll take you outside. Come over here and we'll take him outside for a little All right, walk. Come out so here. So they can have a look, look see. So, oh, did you show him in here? No, that's that's the kids' room. Don't let the fucking dog. Don't let the dog. Well, they're fighting. Don't they fucking fight me. Don't let the kids out. They like, walked in there. That's the kids' room, guys. Rightio, so this is our caravan park, and the waterfront's over there, okay? See those cabins over there? Waterfront's over there. Now, 
I did ask him about having one of them waterfront ones, but she sat down when I told her the price, so I guess I, that was I, a... I clutched my heart. <laughs> I guess that was a fair no. So this is our cabin. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, look what we'll do. The only problem what you see is they've put the bikers right where the gas tanks are and up against that wall. What's in there, babe? Our bedroom. That's our bedroom. We are not going to fucking know anything, are we? No. Nah. If that blows, we're fucked. Well, at least we'll be and... warm. <laughs> yeah, come <laughs> over here. So, over. You're coming over to the park? We've got it. Yeah, OK. Yeah, that's OK. Are you coming? I am. I'm coming right with you. Walk to the side, not behind me. They can't see you. Sorry. Yeah, they can't see you. I don't think you. they want to see me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all rugged up. They wouldn't know who we would. <laughs> That's right. I wish I did. What, so here's our little putt putt golf. Oh, cool. And um, we've got a bit of everything. That's a little water park over there. The water park. And that's a shark. Can't put your head in that shark for Big Bird. No. <laughs> Hammerhead, that one. Yeah, we've got a bit of everything. Oh, the sun's yeah, coming we, out. Yeah, look. Uh, we've got an albatross. He's Captain Feathersword. Is that what he is? He's oh, got a gun. Know, He's got a freaking pistol. And look, look at that one. That's What's his name with the parrot on oh, his? Jack Sparrow. And there's a skate park over there. So it's not a bad little park, is it, babe? No, it's pretty good for the kids. And we've got a turtle. Look. We just won't let the kids out of no. the room, though. We've got a tortoise and we've got a crocodile. Turn on the crocodile. <laughs> no, it's Pretend got... you're Matt. What's his name? Matt White. Matt White. Pretend you're Matt White. Oh, now she wants to do it. Look. I love Matt, Matt White. Yeah, now she wants to do it. I love Matt White. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm going to pop. What do we mean? Oh, my oh. God, I tell you. It's fucking oh dear. hard being on holidays with her. Oh, I've seized up. Sometimes I think I'm better off at work. I'm so cold, yeah. I seized up. Right? It's blowing a gale, isn't it? It is actually gusting about 54 kilometres an hour in a boat. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah, no, yeah, every stubby I'll have that keeps going. <laughs> every time you open your mouth. <laughs> oh, pretty funny. Babe, I know I'm in the kids' playground, but can you go and get me a stubby so I can just rest it on my barrel? Be appropriate. Alright guys, we've got to go. I just spent the last five minutes trying to feed those birds and then realised they weren't real. Look at them. It all goes back to the boots. Remember the story about the boots? Yes, yes. Hey guys, come on mate, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh. Okay, we'll see you on the next trip. So we come on. ourselves as dumb and fucking dumb. Right? So come on, tell us who you are. Anyway, so honestly, guys, we just met these people travelling around Australia from uh, Tazzy, 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 Kimmy, Russie Adventures, Adventures Moto Vloggers. Yeah. Yes, and they, they, are, they are the best people we, we've met on the trip so far. So but mind got, you, we've, we've, been actually... here, we've been here for one minute. No, we've, actually, we've, really. act, we've actually been here for 17 minutes <laughs> and we're having a fat time. Yeah, no. Not that you're counting. <laughs> and look, what, these what guys, doing? look, they're drinking the same bloody drinks as us. Go to the five seats. They gave us yeah. drinks because oh, I, I asked the wives locked us out of our house. So <laughs> they gave us a drink. Is there any reason why you've been locked out? <laughs> uh, Not to my knowledge. Because but mind you, you that doesn't mean a lot. No, it's because you left your door open. Yeah. And she's oh, yeah, had I, a dummy I did, with you. I left the boot open and it apparently was my job to shut the boot. So I, I'll interact yeah, right now. So what off. actually happened is, yeah. we're not even campers here. <laughs> to be honest with you, mate, <laughs> we just floated around camp to camp, drinking piss, talking yeah. shit. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah no, look, we miss us. Didn't miss mean to fool you, we don't actually even have a campsite here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we're even actually, think they've actually... got missuses or kids. Really. Don't you? No, I haven't. That super dry I was drinking was actually from a guy down there at a camp. That's okay. Instead of bumming a smoke, you're bumming the beer. We're, we're actually homeless, but my god, we're having a good. Yeah, this is mine. No, that's not really. 
Don't worry about it. It's all a lie. He yeah. takes it. He actually just collects bottles for a living. <laughs> mate, it's 10 cents a bottle, isn't it, here in South Australia? We're making money, mate. Making money. Yeah. Making money. <laughs> 10 cents, baby. Yeah. We've got a box full of them. Damn, there. joke's on you. 10 second cents. <laughs> <laughs> no, we expect the bottle back. No, we expect oh, the bottle back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? Whoever I'm talking to right now, these guys are absolute legends to travel with if you ever run into them. Definitely, definitely have a beer with them. I'd probably avoid 100%. them. I'd probably avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I blame him, can you? That's a fair call. That's a fair call. No, I'm trying to avoid her all the time. Tall, tall yeah. people. Yeah. Great. He's awesome. tried to lose me on the road, but it never happens. No, it never happens. <laughs> no. No. Get that in the big jobs. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, female driving a bike. If I was driving a bike, fucking I could have lost him, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even drive. You don't even drive a bike. No, oh, true. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got me yeah. there. Actually, yeah, I got fucking. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've been trying to think of a good comeback, mate. I got fucking nothing. I got nothing. Yeah, you, you win. Are you just a homeless a man that he's met on in this campsite? No, I meant when it's no, toilet. no, I not at all. <laughs> Either way, you got any change? <laughs> <laughs> what else is he? Here, you look. I got some of these. Them. His name Are you is hungry. He, he, well, he's I'm not there for get... fucking four days. Is that why we call you George Michael? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I met him in the toilet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I met him in the toilet. Just hanging out. Make sure you fucking edit his hour, man. Ah, ah. Nothing gets edited on our channel. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> We're out. We're out. Uh, We're out. So, what a great couple of blokes. Well, the sun was starting to set. Time to grab some tea and have a hell of a time later on in the night. And what's his name? I told you, Frank. Frank! <laughs> yeah, so Frank. Cool. Yeah. How old are you today? Five. Five years old. What, what absolute legends these guys are. Anyway, stay tuned, guys, for more adventures. <laughs> Good morning, oh, and what a top of the morning it is in the bay, bay. Are you feeling okay in there, sweetie? Oh, no. Kim hung one on last night, look. Oh, look at this, look at this. We had a party, I think. A we, party? I think we had the fucking caravan park here, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> but we've woken up this morning, yes, and we're on top of the world as always, until we open the door. Look at that, hey? The bikes are wet. And look at the sky. It's not looking good, is it, eh? Really isn't. But anyway, being the people we are, we'll soldier on, won't we, sweetie? We'll put our wits on, won't we? And we'll make it to the next town, 400 kilometers away, won't we? <laughs> 60 kilometers. 70. <laughs> We're only doing about 70 today, guys, because of the rain. So um, it's not going to be good. Not going to be. Anyway. We'll catch you later. Kim's got a bit of cleaning up to do. Well, like I said, we had a bit of a party here last night. We've got to do dishes. Yeah, she's good to do dishes. Show them the dishes. I've already shown them, sweetie. Oh Look. Oh, God. We yeah. need to wake up. It doesn't to. matter. It does it well. I've got to wake up to you every morning, sir. <laughs> Jesus. It's been raining most of the night and very windy. Kim's box all dirty again. At least they didn't sink, did they? But. It's not good, is it? Eh? Not good at all. It's a very bleak day. Very bleak. Not to worry. She'll be right. Okay, we'll catch it in the road, boys. I was boys. never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh. 
Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make.